This is the 2023 Peloton Bike Plus, a staple in the home exercise indoor cycling category. The problem with Peloton for many is their pricing. That's where this one comes in. Let me introduce you to the Yes Soul G1S Plus, a much more affordable solution to the Peloton Bike Plus. In fact, when comparing apples to apples, the Peloton is $24.99, whereas the G1S Plus is $8.99. With more than a 50% difference in pricing, the question is, what's the catch? Let's start with some background information. Yesol is a fairly new company being founded in 2017. They specialize in the development and production of innovative fitness equipment at affordable prices. They offer a wide range of fitness products with their primary focus being stationary bikes. They place a strong emphasis on user experience aiming to create a fun and engaging fitness environment. Checking delivery on each bike is a much different experience. Peloton typically requires professional installation, which can be an additional charge depending on the sales going on at the time. For my order, they sent out an Amazon installer, which was pretty interesting. Yes, Soul ships you the bike, which you can assemble yourself. It took me about 40 minutes to install everything. If you're not comfortable doing it yourself, you can always use a service like TaskRabbit. I would say that this is one area Yes Soul is saving money, but Peloton still charges for the installation, so it really doesn't make sense. Peloton does not include anything extra with the standard bike plus. If you decide you want weights, a yoga mat, or other accessories, you can purchase them separately or as part of the more expensive bundle. One thing to note, when the installers were putting together the bike, they recommended that I get different pedals. He said while some people or customers do like the locking pedals, most hate the fact that Peloton does not include the shoes and they charge you an additional $150. Plus, there have been reports of people getting their shoes stuck on the bike. The pedals he recommended were about $40 on Amazon and will work with most tennis shoes. He also recommended getting a better seat as this is a common complaint with most Peloton riders. On the flip side, Yesol includes everything Peloton includes, plus you get a set of 4.4 pound dumbbells, the universal pedals that I purchased separately for the Peloton, and a much softer seat that we'll discuss later. All of these for a fraction of the cost, it's pretty crazy. Okay, so if Yesol is charging less but giving you more, then the cutbacks must be in the build quality and design, right? Well, yes and no. When these two bikes are side by side, you can immediately tell that Yesol took inspiration from Peloton when they built this bike. They look very similar to each other. Both have solid metal frames. The handlebars on the Yesol may appear inferior to the Peloton at first. However, when riding, things change. My wife has been riding both bikes for over a week now, and she said not only is the seat much more comfortable on the Yes Soul, but so are the handlebars, and I would have to agree. When it comes to stability, the Peloton is a bit better since it weighs more in its base. That's not to say the Yes Soul isn't stable. My wife and I felt very safe when riding both bikes, but when riding extremely hard, you'll notice a little more wiggle on the Yes Soul. Of course, this will also come down to your flooring and how level everything is. Both bikes feature a set of wheels on their base so you can easily easily relocate them whenever you'd like. They both offer the same level of adjustability as well. The seat can slide up, down, backwards, and forwards. The handlebars also have points of adjustment. Each bike has knobs for adjusting resistance. From a functionality standpoint, these both work nearly identical. The displays and speakers are the only area with a clear difference. The Peloton features a 24-inch anti-reflective touchscreen that can tilt and swivel. It's a beautiful display that gets plenty bright for any condition. It also has a built-in camera camera located right at the top that I've yet to use. For audio, it uses a four channel system consisting of two front facing stereo tweeters and two rear facing woofers with full range drivers. In comparison, the Yesel also has a 24 inch screen that can tilt and swivel, but it's not touch compatible. Instead, you use the joystick located on the monitor for adjusting brightness, volume, and for power. You'll be using the screen for projection purposes as the bike does not have the Yesel app built into it. The projection takes place from your phone with an included HDMI cable, or you can connect wirelessly. Typically, you'll use the Yesel app, but they also made it possible to project from other apps like YouTube and even Peloton, so you're not locked into a subscription, but more on that later. One of the biggest advantages being able to plug your phone in via HDMI to the monitor is that you can cast one of your favorite shows or movies straight to the Yes Soul G1S Plus. This makes cardio a little bit more fun and enjoyable since you're able to watch something while you're working out, taking your mind off of that cardio process. And while yes, Peloton does offer streaming services on their bike, Yes Soul allows you to cast from any app on your phone. You're not limited to a certain amount of 
of apps. The screen looks good and gets plenty bright, albeit not quite as bright as the Peloton. It also doesn't have the same build quality as the Peloton, but does it really matter? Personally, if I can see the exercises perfectly, then I'll take a slight hit on quality if the overall price of the bike is going down dramatically. Plus, you can use the included HDMI data cable to stream a movie, show, or game while working out with a Yes Soul display, whereas Peloton does not allow streaming from a device. It's a great way to multitask, honestly. The built-in speakers on the G1S Plus screen are not as impressive as the Peloton, but they still get the job done. The Peloton technically uses USB-C, but its design is more proprietary, whereas the Yes Soul G1S Plus uses a more traditional DC adapter. So yeah, Yes Soul saved a little money with build quality and software implementation, but we're still talking about a third of the price here. Now, Peloton requires you to have a paid subscription to use the bike. There's no getting around it. That subscription is $44 a month for their all access membership. It includes 16 plus different workouts in categories like yoga, HIIT, strengthening, etc. You can choose from over 1,000 on demand classes or from 14 daily live classes. So the Peloton community and coach integration is second to none. And the main reason why people buy into their ecosystem without sugarcoating it, Peloton has a larger and more active community of coaches and users than most, if not all other services out there. Yes Soul, on the other hand, is a much newer company and they don't necessarily have the large financial backing that Peloton has. So it's understandable why they would have a smaller platform. However, Yes Soul is devoting insane amounts of energy into building it and it really shows. They have the same 16 plus workout categories Peloton offers. They offer live classes typically every week and hundreds of on-demand options. This includes scenic riding like Peloton for a more immersive ride. Classes can be scheduled in advance within the Yes Soul app and when traveling, you can still take them by using your phone or tablet. I think the biggest selling point with the Yes Soul is the fact that you don't need an active subscription to enjoy the G1S Plus. You can simply ride it, take other online classes due to the projection feature, or take one of Yes Soul's free on-demand classes. If you do want to get the most out of your G1S Plus, it's only $9.99 a month, which like the bike is a fraction of Peloton's pricing. But Keep in mind, Peloton does in fact offer more with their subscription. What's great is Yesel allows you to purchase the G1S Plus and then use Peloton services on that bike. So you're not locked into one subscription service over another or a specific bike with Yesel. If you made it this far in the video, congratulations. I got a little prize for you. If you use the code Jonathan at checkout, you can get this bike for $3.99 versus the $4.99 Black Friday pricing. All the information can be found in the description down below. Ultimately, which bike you choose will come down to budget and what you value most. If you're okay using the Yes Soul G1S Plus bike and then using the money saved to purchase an annual membership to Peloton, I think that might be the best move. Personally, I don't need all the stuff that Peloton offers. I just need a few classes that I can take and enjoy. That's why I'm totally fine paying $9.99 for Yes Soul's service. They also offer other subscription prices, such as annual and even special weekly pricing, depending on your region. I think this video just goes to show that expensive doesn't always mean better. Links to both bikes and accessories can be found in the description of this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Be sure to like this video if you found it helpful, and I'll see you beautiful people in the next one.